Hey, uh, you might want to come out here. This feels like something out of a science fiction movie. Beautiful views. Dude, that's amazing. Does this belong to anybody? Yeah, this is actually all stuff for your neighbor's roof deck. Oh, that hatch. Yeah. Maybe you can go in there and ask him for some sugar. <laughs> you could try. <laughs> Welcome to Soho. We're looking at some apartments just on the other side of Houston Street. How much do you think an apartment in this neighborhood costs? Um, north of seven, eight grand. Subway trains here are really good, and there's three stations that all go right through here. The six train right here, fairly reliable, and it's the closest one to the apartment. And on Broadway, look, it's all like flagship stores where you can get yourself the ugly new Converse that everybody be wearing. And there is the Museum of Ice Cream. This place has a mean brunch. In fact, I think all the restaurants down here are pretty good. Since the rent's so high, they've gotta be doing something right. Like this rundown corner deli. It's actually a really good taco place. And it's kinda held together with stickers and spray paint, but it'll change your life. Over here, we got a little cafe. This here be your local candy store. And we even have a high-end suit store. Saito. Japanese, maybe? Okay, Wagyu. Right here, you can get yourself a smoothie. Oh, and they have crepes. Ooh, good. Good combo, especially since they probably look like that. This right here is a Thai diner and it's on your street, which is Mott Street, where you can also get fresh bread. If you want to live in the heart of the action, one of the three or four places we're about to see is probably going to work out. Dude, this looks awesome. Alex, you brought me to like the most interesting place I've ever seen. Yeah, what is this is two what is bed, it? two bath, prime location in Nolito. And it looks like we got some outdoor space. Is the basement creepy? Very. Very? Good. That is one of my most favorite trees in New York City. It's like a super, super tall weeping willow vibe. Oh, yeah. look at that. Private, right? Exactly, it's private. Okay. It's private. private. No else can come. Okay, unless they happen to open this door and go like this. All right, okay, we won't do that. It's fine. The lock is on our side. You could have a little seating area out here. You could put a grill. I would put a grill. Oh, cool. We've got like an active uh, power supply. That's nice. This here be the fire escape itself. Plus you get a porch light. Look at this switch. I guess this is like, some sort of timer thing. Maybe it's out of commission. I don't see any bulbs in there. Oh boy, and one of these might give you free cable TV or uh, an electrical shock. I like this though. It's much quieter than you'd expect considering we're in such a busy part of town. Do the neighbors have any cool furniture? Um, that, that actually might be available. It is available. It is available, actually, okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll see that one next. Now the upstairs here is where things get interesting. For example, look at this kitchen. We've got this fancy island, and if it wasn't there, this would be the extent of everything. Not that that's bad, but uh, this kind of gives you the, the idea that it's maybe not a massive apartment. I like how the sink is right next to the railing. Look, you could clean the stairs with the sink sprayer. You probably shouldn't do that. But we've got a decent stove. Fridge opens the right way. Can you imagine if it didn't? Microwave up in here. Did you see the paper towel holder? Yeah, it's so Isn't that cool. awesome? Yeah, it's half broken. A lot of space saving features here, including the breakfast bar itself. You could get some stools. You could fit like four or five stools along here. I guess the good thing is if that's where your breakfast tables are, this could be an actual den. Of course, nothing can go over here, but you could have a TV on the wall. You could have a couch up against the fence. What the? This is eerie, but kind of in a cool cavernous way, right? Look at those walls. These are like part of the earth. Dude. You found a closet? Yeah, it's Dude, it's a bedroom right here. <laughs> so what is this, technically a one bedroom apartment? 
Uh, it's actually advertised as a two bed. I think we're missing the second bedroom. Is that a bed? There's no, no, that goes to the past to go to the basement. Can we even open it? 5,200 for a one bed with two floors and two bathrooms. Yes. Real estate for you in New York. I do think this would make a good bedroom though. There's no noise. Like you could scream down here and no one would hear you. Yeah, which is good and bad. So this uh, half bath is cool, but here's the problem. If this were a two bedroom, your roommate could shut off the light on you like Alex is doing when I'm trying to record this video. But look, we got laundry down here. The world's smallest sink. Oh, that's good water pressure. One medicine cabinet. And then we have the medicine shelf right here. And we have another strange little window. Oh, it has um, one of those like kid stoppers. So you can't actually open that. Also, the layout in here is really interesting. I'm glad they were able to fit a bathroom in, even though it's not a perfect square. Because if you're in a two floor apartment, you don't want to have to go up a level or down a level to access the restroom, especially at nighttime. That would suck. And honestly, the whole presentation is nice. You can see the bricks nicely squared off. The ceilings have like that vaulted style to them. Okay. Pretty much the same as the downstairs with a big standing shower. So no bathtub. It is a pretty big shower though, um, but I just don't think it could have been a tub. There's not enough room. Same exact price. And the difference is essentially, if you like to cook more, take the other apartment. If you want a more open living room, take this one. So we have a similar size living room, 10 by 11. That's about what the other one was. However, the fact that you don't have anything blocking this hallway area, I didn't measure this, but it could be used for a table. It could just be used for pretty much anything else. And that's what makes it feel a lot better for sure. The way I would set this up is putting a huge L couch right here. You got space for it, mount a TV on the wall over there. Nice dining room table over here. You know what? It's not a better kitchen, but it has more room to kind of get to all the same stuff. These are our drawers under the sink. Water pressure. Oh, there we go. Microwave. The only thing it doesn't have is like one of them little beverage coolers. Look at that little radiator right there. Ah, look at that. Look at this. They got the fridge stashed right here in the corner. That's cool. A couple of bizarre storage cubbies. Gas meter. And this is our coat closet. I like the bathroom, but the door kind of whacks you in the knee when you're on the seat of achievement. Lighting looks pretty good. We got ourselves a lot of storage. Laundry in unit. Five grand, no laundry. That's a thing in other buildings. And look, we have an actual tub. So if you're a bath person, this is your spot. Plus our bathroom window is openable and sunny. Sort of. Staircase is interesting. It's like made by hobbits or something. <laughs> oh, it's not. Do whatever you want with this. Right here. I like how it comes with a free set of string lights. That's nice. Is this bigger? It feels bigger. It might be like a foot or two bigger. This one, we've got the cage view over here. That's pretty neat. Table, chairs, and grill. Same. Yeah, the whole Same deal. Yeah. Check that out. Oh, I got some rich folks up there. Yep. Look at that. Big spenders looking down on us from their kingdom, thinking they're better than us. Alex, I bet you their apartment doesn't have this. Too clean. It's locked. Darn. <laughs> I did kind of want to go in. I don't know why they chose this color. For I'll tell you why they chose this color. It was already on the fence. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it spilled and they were like, ooh. Oh, we're going to get in trouble with the landlord. So let's just use that paint on everything. It sounds like I'm hating on it, but I actually like this backyard better. Bigger, there's a little bit more green. probably where that door led in the other apartment. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, this annoying fire thing. Where is that coming from? Probably here. Battery system. Wait, there is no battery. All right, well, it should stop making noise. <laughs> no, oh what? Gosh. How is it still making noise? Is it that one or is it another one? 
There's two bedrooms down here. This two is great. Bedrooms, yeah. The lights are all on. We have a nice sunny window up there. 10 by 11, so about the same size as the living room. Your closet. Oh, look at that. Walk-in closet. Okay, it does have some shelves. It is pretty big. There's also like this granite ledge. I guess you could put your feet on this and get up there and open the window. I like it. It has character. And sharing this with somebody else, even if you get this room, which is a little bit smaller, I think these are the kinds of rooms people can expect if they're sharing this year, this oh, red yeah. climate. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think you're gonna have to stick to a twin bed if you take this bedroom. It doesn't really allow bigger than that. Closet behind the door, though. Oh! Look at this! Three bedrooms! Oh my goodness, I see some spider webs. Get out of there, yeah. get out of there. Does this one have the top floor unit? Uh, yeah, let's... I've spent enough time in basements. Seventh floor? Yeah, we're tired. We're tired. Yeah. This is for the roof deck? I don't know if you're gonna use this for a while. Try to pull it down. Oh! Oh man. I don't like how it shakes. Cash, it's been nice knowing you. I love I I love the time we've spent together, man. There's one world trade right there. You got the Jenga building right next to it. That's 56 Leonard. You're not getting that anywhere else in the city. That's not true, look. Oh, another apartment. Shut up, Alex. <laughs> what do you do with this? I would set it up with a grill somewhere, get a table out here, even get a hammock out here. If I lived here, I would spend all day up here. It's absolutely beautiful. Luckily, there is some furniture over here. And we also have a pit where you can throw some pennies and make wishes, also known as the shaft way. There's even a little gate right here. Oh, it's locked. How come they get all the free furniture? It could be yours too. Oh, look, it keeps going. There's even more apartments over here. Oh, that place looks hot too. Look at that crazy looking roof. They got a table. So I guess as long as what you get comes from Home Depot and is uh, weatherproof like this, it will stand the test of time. You can come up here and enjoy it whenever you want to, which Alex says would be all the time. And honestly, would you rather live in an apartment that costs the same amount of money, which everything else here does that doesn't have something like this? Be careful, dude. Be really careful. Now, if you're worried about security, these things, they can only be open from the inside. Once you close them by pulling on this here handle, they lock, watch. At least they're supposed to. There we go. Let's go for 4,200. 4,200. And it's a sunny little one bed. The living room is 11 feet by 12 feet, pretty decently sized. So if we assume that this is gonna be used, where do you put things? What probably makes the most sense is putting a dining table here, mounting a TV here, maybe even putting a desk under here if you work from home, and a couch over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everything opens without any clearance issues. Math and measuring were part of this kitchen. It's not a big kitchen, but it has counter space. Next to the sink, look, you could have like some appliances, you could have like a drying rack. This might actually be more usable than maybe one of the other places we saw today. Fridge is in the right place, laundry machines are good. Who doesn't want that? And then look, we've even got cabinets back here which you might not be able to reach, but they can still have things that you might not need all the time. And speaking of stuff you don't need all the time, you can throw other things in this hole way up here. I think it's growing on me. Me too. I mean, the more time we spend in here, the more we love this apartment. Like, obviously it's not the biggest apartment in the world, but for what it is, it's a great deal. And there's that willow tree. It's great. I love it. This is nice too. This whole backyard is nice. It's quiet. I don't hear any birds chirping, but maybe there were at one point. No pigeons. No pigeons. Look at the fire escape. That's cool. These are our windows. And you end up renting it. You could have like a little chair or something out here. I just don't think it can live out here. You might have to like bring it inside and maybe keep it on the side of the door. And definitely could get like a queen bed in this corner kind of sticking out. Got ourselves these pocket doors, you close it off. Okay, there's nothing out there. And overall, 
decent bathroom. There's a tub that I'm standing in. It's not a bad size. How's our water pressure on the top floor? Pretty good. Got some towel hooks. It is right next to the kitchen, but don't worry. It's not so close that you can reach the fridge, uh, but you can reach the oven from the throne. Check on dinner. Are there cheaper ones? Uh, there's one that's $100 cheaper. Okay. And it's not on the top floor. <laughs> $100 cheaper, living area is bigger, bedrooms bigger, you still have a balcony, just no rooftop. This is the entry point. We've got a closet over here and a little window. Again, I think a plant could live here because it does get some light. The closet itself, oh, it's big. Definitely some jackets. This looks pretty functional. And the rest of this is like a super long, narrow hallway. But after you walk past this, we've got the little hallway kitchen, which has all the same stuff. You can see the dishwasher, beverage cooler. It's a bigger kitchen than the upstairs. After that, you walk into a living room that is pretty decent. This is probably the best living room out of any of the apartments we saw, even the more expensive ones. Great view of the neighbor's air conditioner. And that's probably a rent stabilized apartment. Look at how old their window is. I would do a table, I would do a couch. Entertainment center on the brick wall. With no roof deck, we're allowed to have a ceiling fan. But we do have a balcony. Okay, so the neighbor's apartment has some precarious pots on it. If I had that balcony down there, might be a little alarmed. But luckily our balcony's underneath another one and I don't see anything on the neighbor's fire escape. For some reason this feels more private and secluded than the one up on the roof. That's probably because of the cover from all the trees that's kind of around us. And down here, that's the first outdoor space we visited and that's the all brown one where we joked about them spilling the paint. And there be that rich person's penthouse over there. And even though 4100's a lot of money, that's the entry point for a one bedroom anywhere in the city and now you get to live downtown. Oh, I just noticed. Here we have a free AC, which is already in the AC slot above the door. The view from our window, not bad, charming. Pocket doors as well. And it does come with a closet with um, different stuff happening on different sides. But for this bedroom, I think the bed has to go here, sticking out this way. Or actually, upon further inspection, right here you can put a bed, just make sure that this door stays open and never closes, then you can line it up. Get up to a queen right here. Our bathroom is actually on the other side of my jacket. We've seen this before today. Oh, and we got the laundry. And a view of somebody else's apartment. Glad thing they have a curtain. Pretty decent sized bathroom. You could like throw your laundry in there without bumping into anything. Plus, we got ourselves a cabinet. One of those dealy wheelies on the wall. Alex's info is right here if you need a great place. Appreciate it. Check them out on Instagram and TikTok. See you in the next video.